straighteners, GHDs. I just wanna stretch this hair. Actually, I have not used GHDs or any form of straighteners since 2000 and gosh, it must be 2011. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Your Girl Afro is Massive and today I'm doing a product review. So before lockdown and everything, Rev Air sent me their hair straightening Hoover product thing. I actually need to understand what the actual words are. What do they actually call this? Rev Air, they don't say the word. And it makes a video super hard to do when you don't actually know what the product is called. Ah. Oh. It's a reverse air dryer. Reverse air dryer. Okay, cool. <laughs> At least we got that one sorted. So Rev Air sent me their reverse air dryer and I was quarantining at home and couldn't transport it back home because the package is huge. Let me just show you how big this is. Ugh, like what? But the machine itself is pretty massive. So, you know, as much as I would love to travel with this thing, to other countries and you know take it with me everywhere you know you really can't so you kind of have to decide where you want your rev air to live and then that just be its home forever so i actually tried this product uh oh gosh like a year ago and i absolutely loved it so rev air sent me this reverse air dryer um i'm not being paid for this so this isn't like a paid ad but i guess i'm receiving the product for free but i absolutely love it and i'm really really excited about having it here with me so that i can like stretch my hair a lot more quickly and a lot more easily rather than waiting three days for my stretching to kind of like be at its max. So I'm sure for you other curlies, other 4Cs out there, you could probably relate to this quite a bit. So this box is massive and I'm just gonna, hey, I'm over here. And that's wonky. Wow, production skills. Okay, amazing. So I'm gonna kind of like show you everything that comes in this box. It's absolutely massive. And when I had to pick this up from the post office, I actually had my skateboard with me. So I had a backpack my skateboard and then this massive thing to carry back to this flat before i ran home to quarantine so i was on my skateboard with this massive box and my backpack like skr skr so you can tell i've already pre-washed my hair and it's still wet so i've just been prepping for doing this video this morning so inside this box you will get a set of grips i absolutely love these hair grips as well they are so fantastic like I haven't seen any hair clips like this. Really handy to have four of those whilst I'm parting and prepping my hair. Ooh, amazing. I actually need another one of these. So also as part of the package, they give you a spray bottle, so like a hair mister, and I love these. I used to use just like your casual spray bottle and it was just like very heavy water droplets, but I love like kind of the mist that these spray bottles give. And also really helpful in the summer when you're baking and you don't have a fan, you can just use this to spritz and bask. Ah, huh, oh I see, okay. So, okay, let me do this in two parts because this was all in the same bag. There's a lot of plastic in here. Yeah, a lot of plastic. Maybe would recommend wrapping in like tissue paper rather than using so much plastic. So this is a microfiber towel and I love this. I already have one because I went to their event a couple of years ago and um, it's like a hood for your head and then it wraps, you have this little elastic loop here and it wraps around the front around this button. So let me show you even though my hair is still wet. <sighs> She's luckily. And then this comes with also a little bag that you can put it in. Really handy for traveling, actually. I'm gonna have to use this. Oh, she's still wet, she's still juicy. Okay, great. And then we have the actual machine itself. This is a bag to hold one of the components. The actual machine itself, very heavy, um, but this is the thing that does all of the work. And then you have the, the wand. I will call this the wand, not the Hoover nozzle. We have the machine, we have the wand, and that all connects together. And then they also give you the stand for the wand. So really helpful if you're working at your desk and keep the stand here so you can put it down when you're doing your separating and your moisturizing and stuff. So you don't have to like keep dropping it on the floor and things like that. So, <laughs> and actually it took me a minute to first figure out how to put this all together myself. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. This nozzle is so long. <laughs> I'm not sure if it needs to be this long, but maybe it does. I'm, I'm not a... And I'm not a product designer, so. So we're gonna put the wand into the weighted stand, which is great because that sits on my, Ooh, she says. There we go, that sits really nicely on my desk. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to the machine. So let's do this together, guys. This is like a step by step. Everyone got their rev airs ready. So all we're going to do is we're going to make sure this little black bit at the top. Can you guys see, see that? That is the lock. So we're going to pop that onto the top here. And then I'm going to have this setting maybe on like a four because I need to work kind of quickly. I've actually got an interview in about an hour. So I need to kind of work quickly to get this hair looking exactly how I want it. I've been asked to be interviewed for a podcast about Forex trading and like where I see it going and blah, blah, blah. So that's kind of exciting. But I need to be looking on point because it's also being filmed. So um, this is really going to help me feel super duper sexy. So let's get going. I'm going to plug this in. And when you turn it on, it is going to sound like a hoover. So don't be alarmed, everybody. Woo! Okay. <laughs> this is so funny because I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Um, so, I feel like I'm on my own talk show. What I do is I'm parting my hair into smaller sections. This section might still be a bit big. Um, and my hair still feels really quite wet. It's kind of like sopping still which is great usually my hair dries almost instantly but so since I've stopped using oils my hair has been kind of more receptive to water which is crazy so um, I'm just gonna pop my hair into the nozzle and you guys can see the magic happen You're not supposed to, as tempting as it is, you're not supposed to like do, give it all of that. You know, don't do too much. It's not about all that extra sauce. You just hold it. It's a bit of an arm workout because it's kind of heavy. Feel hot because I've got the temperature setting down. So you can have this on multiple settings. You can have it on like a hot setting or a cool setting. So if you've got more time and you just want to give it a really like nice cooling stretch, then you can absolutely do that. I'm just using a warmer setting just for the sake of time. Um, oh, look at me, I'm doing it. I'm pumping. <laughs> the instructions on the manual say, do not pump. I think for me, the biggest point is, you know, stretching the root. That is what I kind of care about the most because the rest of my hair, like I've got quite long hair, but for me, like the majority of my shrinkage does happen at the root. So it's more about just like training the curls. And this tool works on literally like all hair textures. I have between 3C and 4C hair across my scalp. But you know, I've seen this do amazing work on 4D hair as well. So definitely give it a go. You won't be disappointed. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but that's because for this time round, I actually use a very soft, like a jelly soft water-based um, curl gel um, to sit on it. Cause I think it would just hold and influence the stretch a little bit more and I'm loving it. And I can't wait to brush this out. This feels great. Okay, and now it's time to do the 4C section of my hair. So I don't know if you guys can see, um, I have my uh, tightest coils around the back of my scalp. I love my 4C sections. I think they have so much character and I absolutely love their shrinkage and you know, it's so easy to detangle as well. So um, let's see how this goes. It's dry. 
crazy. Huh, this all took around half an hour. Half an hour, guys. I actually can't believe this. Huh, my hair is long and swoopy. And that's it. And that is it, guys. Mental, this is actually mental. Um, I think I'm in love with this product. Nothing else to say, really. The last time I used it, it took them a really long time to do my hair, and I think they were just, you know, doing lots of small sections. I did relatively chunky sections, and I only held the dryer on there for a minute, uh, if, an, if that 45 seconds per section. These results are incredible. Um, that's it. Like, <laughs> there's nothing else to say. <laughs> I'm literally, I promise now I'm done. So um, I had my meeting and then I was like, huh, because I rushed the last part of my hair, then I just felt like I could definitely do um, a little bit again. So I just took the mister because I felt like, do I need to re-moisturize completely? So I just took a tiny amount, like a, like, a, like just that, like a, whew get away <laughs> um a tiny amount back over the back over my hair and then i just did another very quick pass using the red air results were great my hair feels fantastic um i think i think i need another trim i trim my hair like all the time um but my hair just grows very very quickly um as you can kind of see here huh the last trim i had was i suppose in march so it's probably probably about time. But yeah, I'm crazy happy with these results. So quick. Like I actually, I feel like a princess and I feel great. And now I'm going to go to brunch with the girls and enjoy the rest of my Saturday. So in terms of the price of Rev Air, let's take a look. Okay. If you're buying it off Amazon, 300 pounds on average. Personally, I would say that's a very good investment because if you think about GHDs, they're what, about 200 pounds and they're crazy damaging. Whereas this is like having an art installation in your house. It's not gonna go anywhere and it does a trick. I think, you know what, if anything, you probably, had I not been gifted with this, I definitely would have purchased it myself just because time is like my biggest uh, asset, I guess. And um, I hate spending time on anything and plus I'm really not super high maintenance either. So just by doing something like this, really quick and easy, um, this is pretty much just like opened up my diary, I guess. And it means that now we no longer have to wait like three days to get our hair in that kind of stretched state to do the style that we wanna do. I think this is a, this is actually a breaker. This is actually really smart, especially for like weddings and things. So, you know, we always have that fear, <laughs> we, I'm not even getting married, I don't even have a boyfriend. But I have in my mind that I'm gonna have to be prepping my hair like five days before my wedding because I know exactly how I want my hair to be on the day. Who else has that same mindset? But with this, I know this is gonna be with me on the day so that I can just doop doop, zhuzh my hair in the morning and then have whoever's coming in to actually style the thing in whichever way I want. I love this. So let me know what you guys think about the reverse air dryer. Personally, I'm a massive fan. I really, really like it. Um, I think there are loads of pros. Can't really find any other cons other than it's massive and you know, you could do your own home workout with it. But again, lemonade out of lemons. But if you guys have found some genuine like cons, let me know. I'd love to hear some other opinions about this because I think it's important to get a whole spectrum of um, opinions on these products. I know like not every product is gonna work for everyone. So um, put it into the comment section down below or maybe over on Instagram. I'm always hanging out on Insta or on Twitter. Let me know what your thoughts are on the reverse air dryer um, because I think it would be a good idea to just get the word out to our community, the pros and the cons of everything. But yeah, that is pretty much it from me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in a video super duper soon. Bye.